Hey guys, this is Rome with Rome Knows Tech. Today we're going to take a look at this Safe Bark. Um, basically, it's a it's a bark control collar. Now I have a dog uh, Boxer. He can get a little bit on the barky side whenever the doorbell is wrong or someone comes over. Now I am not going to say that everyone needs a bark collar um, for their dog. Sometimes just training can be enough. But in my situation. Uh, even with the amount of training that he's gone through, he is very defensive, so he will definitely start to bark whenever someone shows up. So let me show you guys what comes in this box. Now, this was sent out to me for review, so I will be testing this with my dog. Now, it comes with the, the starter uh, manual, which is going to show you how to set this up. You want to make sure to read this manual, guys, so that you make sure that you're safely using this with your pet. So all of the information is here, you know, as far as the collar, uh, the strap, the little metal prongs that come with it, the prong covers, as well as uh, the charging cable that you'll be able to use. And it just kind of goes through all of that. All right, so in the box, you also get uh, your testing uh, device here. You get the uh, covers that I mentioned before, and you get the little metal prongs uh, to connect this. You know, really nice design. You also get the cable that I mentioned. This is what you're going to use to charge this. Now, this is USB-C to USB-A, so any cable you have laying around will do basically the same thing to charge it. And then also, the most important item is going to be this actual collar itself. Now, as you guys can see, the um, the collar portion of it is relatively long. My dog is very big, so this is adjustable, so you can go in and, you know, and adjust this completely. Uh, really nice little clip system. It just pops apart like that. Snap it back on. Now, the prongs are going to um, screw in right here at the base of this device, and then to charge it, there's a little tab underneath here, and you would just pop that up, and that's where you're going to plug in your USB-C cable in order to charge this. All right, guys, so as you can see, I have the cable plugged in here, and this is how you're going to charge it. You're going to see this little red indicator light while this is charging. I suggest that you charge this up completely before trying to test it with your pet. Okay, guys, now that the uh, collar is completely charged, you guys can see there's a little indicator light that is blinking right here. You can go through and change the different modes, as well as you'll be able to go in and change the different power settings. So all of those controls are going to be right here at your fingertips for setting everything up. It does come with this tester, and what this is going to allow you to do is to test the intensity of, um, you know, what your settings are. You will need something to trigger the sound. Now, the microphone for this is right here. So when my little security team is out in the backyard patrolling, it is, uh, you know, occasionally, you know, like I said, he will start to bark at the neighbor's kids when they're outside playing. So I wanted to try and eliminate that as much as possible. So I think that this little collar will come in handy. So if you guys have a problem with a dog that may be, you know, in need of just a little bit of correction, this could be ideal. This is IP65 rated, so if the dog gets into the water, it's going to be fine. And like I said, you can set this in three different modes. You have like a audible mode, you have a vibration mode, and then you have your shock mode. So it's totally up to you which one you think is going to be appropriate for your pet. But I just wanted to unbox this and show this to you guys. All right, guys, it's been Rome with Rome Knows Tech, and I will catch you all in the next video. Until then, peace. I am out.